then today I went and I gave blood. Now you know that you have blood going around inside of you. And like if you trip or fall and uh, hurt yourself, scrape your skin, a little blood comes out, you know, it's red stuff. Um, anyway, uh, blood can be shared between people. Um, if someone is injured badly, you know, big cut, bleeding all over the place, they can get somebody else's blood put into them, and that can allow them to live, even if the injury was so severe they would normally have died from it. Also, there are some type of sicknesses where you need blood from other people in order to live. So many, many, many years ago, I had cancer. And when I had cancer, my body couldn't make its own blood or couldn't make enough blood. So I got blood from two different people put into me and that allowed me to live because I was just tired and worn out and I couldn't breathe. I didn't have any energy, but getting some blood from other people helped. And if people get really badly injured, like in a car accident or something like that, a little bit of blood can, a little bit of blood from someone else can save their life. Now, I don't want you to worry about falling and scraping your knee. Um, today, when I gave blood, they took out a little bit more than this cup full from me. And so they took this much out, and I'm running around fine. So it's a huge amount of blood that you have to lose but that's enough that was enough to make me feel better when I was sick um and now that I'm perfectly healthy you know I can lose that and I'm fine so you know it's something that you do uh, it's something that can be done now there's different blood types different people have different blood types and your blood type is related to your parents my blood type is O negative which is very special because there's all sorts of different proteins on the blood. There's the A protein, the B protein, and then the RH protein, which is sometimes called G. But anyway, it's the A and the B, and then the RH. The RH is either positive or negative. And RH is named after the rhesus monkey. Rhesus monkey is not spelled like the candy, it's spelled with an RH, so it's rhesus rh for the blood type because rhesus monkeys were found to have this protein in their blood so my blood type is o negative which means i don't have the a and i don't have the b and i don't have the rh so that means that my blood can be given to someone who has a because what happens is, is that if the blood type doesn't match, you can form antibodies. Your body attacks proteins that it doesn't recognize. So if someone has type A blood, they can get A or O because A doesn't have, A has the A protein and O doesn't have any proteins. And B can take B or O. And then there are some people who have AB blood, which means they have both the A and the B protein. And so they can take A blood because they recognize the A protein. They can take B blood because they recognize the B protein. They can take O blood because it doesn't have any proteins. And then you have to match the positive and the negative. But because I have none of the proteins, my blood can go to just about anybody on the planet. You could take a line straight from my arm, put it into just about anybody, and they'd be fine with the blood. Which makes it very special, which means I should donate blood more often because I can help more people. I can help a bigger variety of people. So here's a picture of the machine that they use to collect my blood. They went and they took this much and they cut it in about half because this is all of the solid blood part. And they put the liquid back in, pumped the, the plasma, which is just sort of this salty water with proteins and sugars and other stuff. They put the water back in, but they kept out the solid blood cells that need to survive. And here's a picture of the thing in my arm. I have 
I have the needle covered, so you just see this red tube and red tube going out. And then afterwards, they gave me juice and cookies because you know you have to build up, rebuild all the blood, and so you know a little bit of food helps because it can be a very tiring process. And as I said, I'm feeling fine, maybe a little bit tired, but pfft, it's nothing. It's just like a long day tired, not even like a bad tired. And then after they took the blood, they put a bandage over top. And then here is a picture of about an hour later and that little red dot in the middle of the picture there is where the needle was in. So let me tell you, it's not that bad. It took an hour maybe. And the worst part was when they tore off the tape. So Regicide, that is giving blood. And I will talk to you later.